Welcome back, gainers, to another super crazy exciting episode of... Comic, get your gains. Welcome back, gainers, to another crazy exciting episode of... Comic, Comic Games. Games. If you knew the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and this is Princess Her Royal Highness. Looking very lovely today, like usual. Going to the club later, maybe. I don't know. Bow down. And there's the Coco. We're all wearing black shirts for some reason. I didn't even plan that out. Randomly happens every once yeah. in a while. Wonderful randomness. All right. So uh, today, guys, is Wednesday, but um, we're going to skip what's in the boxes this week because we, we still have, I think, only two days left on this box. Yeah. So, But we've kind of run into... A little problem where we have too many mystery boxes so we kind of split up our show into different segments and it, there was like less mystery box action going on and now they're like we're like overflowing with mystery box starting to come out our pores a little bit so we uh we picked up two of the brand new uh big daddy mystery box if you guys remember uh on the last round we kind of went ham and we buy 10 of them or something like that okay. About 10 of 15. Yeah, and it was like insane, like one of the best mystery boxes I've ever opened. So he did his new round uh, and he lowered the price a little bit. So the last one was 150, this round was 100 shipped. And we kind of wanted to give the rest of the community a chance to, to get a feel for the Big Daddy mystery box. So this is our first one opening in the new round. I believe there's 11 spots left out of 25. So make sure if you guys like what you see in this box, pick up some more, more stuff from him. Because uh, he overstuffed them way a lot in the first one. And even if this is like half as good as the last one, I'm still going to be super happy. So uh, so we got that to open. And then Princess got an AOK -okay from Toad Nagiri. She's really excited to open that. So that's going to be the show for today. But there's, you know, I'm really excited to open this. Princess really excited to open that. And Zach's really excited to open up this beer. <laughs> it's a triple seven scuttlebutt beer. They established in 1996. Not been around for very long. But their beers are solid. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Yeah, triple seven Belgium style ale. I think it's a oh, it's a nine percenter. Yeah, it's a, it's a good beer. Jesus! It's All a right, really smooth. Let's idea do this. Too. I'm gonna get drunk. Drink my beer. Get you. <laughs> a lot of flavor going on. It doesn't taste like it's a nine percent. No, so that's it's a good dangerous. Thing. Dangerous. dangerous. Hit you real quick. Hit you right here and hit you right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So let's get into our first big daddy box. So. Uh, Princess picked out the numbers, so I think this is box number six, and six and uh, eight are her two lucky numbers, so she got box six and box eight. Box eight. She's done really well with the raffles on box six and box eight, but uh, I don't know. I'm the mystery box. I don't know if we've ever done lucky with that number. Sometimes. Uh, uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, so, does every box have a slab? Do no, so I, the last round, every box had a slab, and then this one was one in five, I believe, had a slab, so, okay. yeah. A lot of, like in the last one, a lot of the, the better books we got were raw books too, so that was kind of crazy. So, you know, there was, the slabs were awesome too, but the raw books were amazing. I think we might have sent a couple down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think we did send a couple to. Ooh, good Whoa. packaging. Oh, up in your game. Yeah. Jeez. This is nice. Nice yellow, yellow scotch bubble wrap. I've never even seen these kind of bags before. Scotch, scotch, scotch. I love scotch bubble wrap. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good presentation, good packaging, Big Daddy. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh it doesn't. Have... Princess on there. Oh, it doesn't. Have... Oh, we thought that was a slab. Flame. Oh, yeah, I guess no slab in this one. I thought maybe it was a slab by the way. Oh, okay. Not looking. I don't remember. I feel like we opened these backwards the last time, right? We should have been good at it by then. Well, usually it's like a start here, but I don't know. I don't really want to look at the. I'm thinking we start this way. Okay. Guessing. I don't know. If, I can't remember if this is an expensive book or not. Maybe I'll... Uh, it can't be, because I think that's... Unless that's based off the TV show. It looks cool, though. Whatever uh, it is. There's a... So we got Masters of the Universe Revelation number one. This is the new one, I think, that continues off of the new TV show. Okay. The official prequel to the upcoming Netflix anime. Oh, so... Okay, that could actually be worth quite a bit of money. That show, if you haven't seen it yet, is pretty dang good. Yeah, I heard uh, it. Kevin Smith is the one who created it, right? Yeah, yeah, that uh, produced it and probably wrote, wrote the story. It, actually wrote it too. Mm. Yeah, I, yeah, I liked it. Really entertaining. A nice little different spin on it. Good start to the box. All right. A good thing. Open it. Oh, 
This is because we got Red Sonia number 28. This is the cosplay variant. That's a nice cover, Zach. I wonder if there's a naughty version of it. <laughs> That's close to a naughty version. I mean, it's pretty, pretty close. Where do they find all these girls to wear these uh, these costumes for the covers? <laughs> Where do they find all these girls at? <laughs> I, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying it. All right. Next up, ooh, Nottingham number four. I don't know if this is, I can't tell there's so many covers because they got up to like five. This might be the first print, I'm not sure. Oh, None of mine are first print, except maybe the last one, book five. Ooh, I don't know, how, like, like they okay. ended it on book five, but like the story really didn't end, so I'm not really sure if they're gonna continue on with it somewhere down the road, but. They're probably playing it by year. It was good, it was good. It just kind of like left you hanging with no, not another book coming out. Ooh, okay. So we got the, uh, this is the, this was the final book in this series, I believe. The, the Black Panther 25 or something like that. That's, That's the peach. last book of the run. This is the Peach Momoko cover. You almost can't recognize that. It's a peach. Mm -hmm. So usually you got some ladies on the covers. It's a good cover. It's a good cover. I can't remember if we picked that up when it came out. Or not. I think we did. Mm -hmm. But very cool. Yeah, I'm excited for the, because the new series comes out soon too. Because I think that ended the old series. Ooh. And then you got, uh. Earth's Mightiest Avengers 41, the variant cover. Looks like Black Panther fighting one of the Xenomorphs. Okay. Okay. Xenomorphs. Aliens. Why did they call them Xenomorphs? Oh. Xeno... I don't know. My brother could probably tell you because it's <clears> probably <throat> a, uh, Latin. Yeah, yeah, probably. Makes sense. A Latin. They did all those covers and like they kind of tease you like you thought you're, they were going to fight the Marvel characters and then they don't. Yeah. Uh, they, so. What? They don't? They're not uh, even in the book? No. Uh, uh, that's it's weird. just like saying that they're going to be on there. Ooh, I've never actually seen this one before. You're right. I think that is Delato. Okay. Yeah. I, I, he does like, I've seen all the dark Spider-Man covers, but I've never seen a Spider-Woman cover. This one's cool. That's the lady. Is that a Frankie's exclusive? No. I know it's an unknown. Is it? Okay. I could be wrong. I it works well with her, though. Sometimes I like all the Spider-Man ones are like... Yeah, you can't really tell what's going on. Ooh, this one looks cool. Oh. Shiny? Oh, no, it's like a magazine. Yeah, Hellfire. So that's got to be um, Jen Bartel, right? Or no? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's DNA. <laughs> I took a DNA test. Every time. David Nakayama. That's a good cover, though. DNA! I didn't know he was doing those, too. Interesting. Interesting. All right, let's see what else we got here. Ooh, that one's cool. So we got the Hellions number 12. This is the, the Gala cover. Ooh. Is that Psylocke? Yeah. You can tell by the glowing hand. The glowing hand. Ooh, I like that cover. That looks like something that would come off of uh, that Demon Days. Oh, so. yeah, a little bit. I don't think it's a peach drawn, though, is it? No, it's not. It's good, though. It's good. Oh, kind of looks like Jim Bartel, but it's not. Ooh. Oh, there you go, Zach. So you got yeah, I've seen that one. X Men number one, the variant with some magic action on there. The busty magic variant. The busty magic variant. I don't think that's what's officially called. Ah, uh, I just know. <laughs> it's a good cover though. Dude, they need to bring magic back. Yeah. And the same <laughs> actress too. I don't need a new actress. Okay, last book. Ooh, a virgin. Yeah. All right. Really, okay. really cool. I like it. Nice. Yeah, he did that a lot in the first one too. You got a lot of like uh, the doubles together of like the Virgin and the trade dress, which totally worked for me. Mm -hmm. Really, really cool. So great box, great there start. Go. So we got one down, we got one to go. So if you guys like that pickup, like I said, it's only $100 shipped. So really, really good stuff. And uh, like I said, it's one in five boxes gets a slab. I think it's guaranteed value too. Okay. Really. Yeah. That's awesome. I so, like it. Yeah, really good, really good. All right. So I got one more thing to open with you guys. Princess got her A-OK -okay from Todd Nigiri. So uh, just a friend of, friend and uh, watcher of the show. And I believe he does a lot of, goes head to head with Princess on a lot of raffles, right? So, let's see. What kind of stuff would people send the Princess on the A-OK? -okay? Oh, that's a loud bag. Yeah. It's yeah, a loud I'm one. Might have to tone that down. <laughs> I like the reused uh, Gemini. I like it. Uh, reuse your not Geminis, guys. Uh, as long as they're not beat the heck up, you'll save some money. But you can't send everybody a brand spanking new Gemini. It's Although you try sometimes, don't you, Zach? 
I use all of the ones that I have access to. <laughs> Some of them are damaged, so we gotta toss those. So let's see, what did the princess get? Oh, oh, I've never seen that one before. Sheena. Well, what do I have 25, 25 cents? So, I, what, Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, number zero. Huh. Yeah, you should. Oh, that one's cool. Oh. Whoa, that's really cool. I don't even know which, which number that is. Well, definitely Department of Truth. Well, oh, yeah. Definitely Department of Truth. So, it's got two books there. You got Sheena, the Jungle Warrior, number zero. Must be like a promotional one since it's 25 cents on the on the cover. And then you got the Department of Truth, the Virgin variant. I'm trying to think when he showed up in, in the comics like that. I'm guessing he's supposed to be the guy with the hat that has like the upside down American flag on it. Really cool character in the book. <laughs> Although that's Uncle Sam with the star face. So maybe that's the star face guy ah. with the Uncle Sam hat. So it could be one or the other. This guy with the hat on. Okay. Now you gotta read the book, Zach. Uh, I don't read anything. No, the flag looks upside down on there, doesn't it? Or no, it's right side That's, up? It's flipped around, yeah. Yeah, you kind see. of sideways. Yeah. So, um, really, really cool. Thank you, uh, Toad Nagiri. She will really enjoy those books. So, really cool. She's kind of like secretly collecting uh, a Department of Truth. Been like getting like the, like the, the, the virgin covers and stuff. So, really cool. All right, guys. That's the show for today. I hope you enjoyed opening some mystery box and checking out some games with us. And if you did, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button on this video. Hit that notification bell so you always know when new stuff is going down. Leave us a comment because we love you guys and we love to hear from you. We love this community of awesome people. It's like the best community ever, you know? Yeah. Best, best people. Made like a ton of friends, a ton of really cool people. And if you stay tuned, you'll hear to hear what Zach has to say. Anything else, Zach? You gotta share how you do that. Is you have to go to Madagascar. Yeah, Madagascar. Heard good things. I think they have uh, the thing I'm gonna be talking about, right? And you gotta be like, you're going to Madagascar. You're a little short, you know. And you go to like, go to there. It's cold there, right? A little cold. And you're like, learn the ways of the penguin in Madagascar. And you're like, hopping around, water around, just learn the thing. You gotta do that belly slide. You gotta watch out for those seals and those other things, walruses. Well, well, was in Madagascar. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I've like what heard Madagascar. I think penguins. Lemurs. Are I don't care. About lemurs are from Madagascar. Anyways, you go to a place where they have a lot of penguins. I maybe Madagascar, and you gotta learn how to like boop, 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 learn from the king penguin, and then you gotta come back to your hometown and then put that ways and like take the st take the city, like be the crime boss that acts like a penguin that has a gun in his umbrella and weird top hat like on a stave but it's out of date just kind of old you shouldn't be wearing it now and the little monocle and uh, that's how you become the penguin ah! <laughs> i don't know what, nice. i don't know what penguin penguins sound like but i'm sure it's something <laughs> similar to that some something like that and uh yeah penguin nice nice yeah I think that's exact his exact origin story. I, I think so word too. Word for word. I, remember I think so too. Yeah. All right, guys. Until we see you next time, stay safe. Remember, get those gangs. Get up.